Hey everybody, it's Mickey. Happy Saturday. Today is December 16th and we are going on a field trip to my favorite vintage antique spot. I'm going to share a simple farmhouse DIY and we're going to be baking a bunch of Christmas cookies. So this morning we are at the Luckett store in Luckett's, Virginia where I find the best vintage inspiration to decorate my house. Today I am looking for an old white door to hang horizontally in my dining room. I have found so many perfect doors and windows here before and I knew that they would have many to choose from. This is one of the very best antique stores in Northern Virginia, and if you are ever in the area, it is definitely worth the trip. We got home from Luckett's. I did find a door that I think we can use for my dining room. My husband has it out in the garage right now. He's scrubbing it down, and he's going to um, cut the ends off, and I'll show you the whole the whole thing when it's all done and we have it hanging up in the dining room. So I finally am able to get started on my cookies. I'm going to show you my big pile of goodies over here that I set up for myself last night to save me a little time this morning. So this is my candy lineup for this morning. Um, I did this last night because I knew we were going to be heading out this morning and I wanted to get a little bit of a head start. So I think I'm going to start with just like um you know, like a um, chocolate chip oatmeal cookie, something really easy, because I want to have a little bit of um, breakfast before um, I really get into it. But look, I, I love this little pile of sugar here. We got butter and M&Ms and caramels and Reese cups, so it should be a fun morning. I've gotten out my Christmas binder and my Christmas planner where I keep the recipes that I make every year. I usually make the cookies that are the family favorites with one or two new recipes that I pick out to try. One of the new recipes that I'm going to be baking this year are these caramel peanut bars that I found in Taste of Home Holiday Recipe Magazine. These have my holy trinity of caramel, chocolate, and peanuts. And of course, I like anything that I can bake in a 9 by 13 pan. This turned out to be an excellent recipe, and I will be sure to list it in the information bar below. You take some quick oats, flour, brown sugar, baking soda, and salt. Combine that with some melted butter. Reserve about a cup to use as a topping and press the remaining in the bottom of a 9 by 13 pan and bake for about 10 minutes until brown. I will leave the full recipe on down below. Sprinkle chocolate chips and peanuts over the crust and cover it all with some melted caramel. Then top with the reserved oats and bake for another 15 or 20 minutes. The caramel peanut bars are out of the oven and they really smell great. I'm just going to let them sit here until they cool. And I wanted to show you my baking setup. I just cover my table with one of those felt backed plastic tablecloths and I line up my cooling racks. Once the cookies are completely cool, I fill Ziploc freezer bags with cookies and store them in my little freezer down in the basement. So while I'm waiting for cookies going in and out of the oven, I am working on my Christmas cards. I usually have them sent out way before now. <laughs> um, I'm usually done by the second week in December, but I'm sitting here working on them, waiting on some cookies. So as I'm sitting here doing my Christmas cards, I think we should have a Christmas card swap. I tried this last year and I got several Christmas cards from all of you and I just think this is such a fun way for us to connect over the holidays. So I am gonna put my um, P.O. Box address up here on the screen in just a minute and if you all send me a Christmas card, I promise I will send one back to you. So here's my address and I hope I hear from you. 
Next up are monster cookies, which is a big family favorite. I will leave the full recipe down below, but there is no flour in this recipe, just oatmeal, peanut butter, raisins, M&M, chocolate chips, with some more good stuff. You mix it all up, drop by a rounded tablespoon on a cookie sheet, and bake for about 12 minutes. I've been using these silicone baking mats that I bought at Costco for about a year or so, and I really love them. They keep my cookies from burning, and they really help with cleanup too. All the monster cookies are all done. I have them all laid out here on the racks. Um, I will leave the recipe for these cookies down below. This is a Paula Deen recipe. It's the one that I have used for years and years. I've made hundreds of these cookies and they are always perfect. So I'll probably be able to start cutting these um, into um, squares next. Um, and we're gonna be making some peanut butter blossom cookies those are the ones with the Hershey Kiss in the middle and I just unwrapped all of my Hershey Kisses and I know this is really really picky but it's kind of driving me crazy here every single Hershey Kiss that I unwrap the tip is broken off but I'm sure nobody's even going to notice them when they are stuffing them in their little mouths Since Mr. UPS Man just stopped by, we will have a short Bath and Body Works unboxing intermission. I ordered a few things for some of the young ladies on my list. I ordered an old favorite, I think it's called Thousand Wishes, and I ordered two new ones, at least to me they're new, the Snowy Morning and the Winter Candy Apple Scent. I'm so excited to show you um, the finished product. This is the door that we picked out um, at Luckett's this morning. My husband scrubbed it up really, really good. It had been outside for quite a while and he trimmed um, each side because we wanted it to be about um, five foot. And I just love the way it looks. I just love old doors. I have a couple of them and I just think that they're beautiful. I had had some window frames up here before that I moved over to the mantle in my den and I was really stumped on what I wanted to put in this space so um, I love old doors. I really think that they're beautiful and I found the exact one that I was hoping to find uh, today with these um, panels in it. I know that it's not everyone's taste but I just love that vintage kind of farmhouse look and I went ahead and I hung um, the wreath that I had on my china cabinet right in the middle of the door there and I just I just love the way it looks so I'm super happy I always like to keep it real for you and show you the mess that I've made of my kitchen I think we are all the same no matter how organized we are sometimes it's just fun to make a huge mess so I'm gonna do a quick cleanup and I'm probably gonna bake a few more batches of cookies before I head to bed for the night. So that's gonna be it for today. Thanks so much for spending this time with me and please leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I have some really fun videos planned for the new year. These days I really think it's so important for us all to be kind to one another, be kind to ourselves and love the life that we have. I'll see you all next time. Bye.